we know it's right to love. And how many of us are sacrificing ourselves for the ability to love because we weren't taught it? Let's check this out. All right, so I'm out here making a video to addicts and I this all this stemmed from John 10:34 about Yeshua says, you are Elohim, small e Elohim, which is a quote from Psalms 82.6. And so I was praying over this and also trying to stop smoking. And the father brought me to 1 Corinthians 8, 8, 7. However, not all have this knowledge, but some being aware of the idol until now, eat it as having been offered to an idol. So their conscience being weak is defiled. So this is when you grow up seeing your parent, your teacher, your authority, your grandma, your pastor doing this thing, and then you go on to replicate that behavior. But food does not commend us to Elohim. Okay, so whether you're... If you're doing this to be a certain way, you're not going to get there because you don't care until it becomes a stumbling block for those who are weak. Eight, eight. But food does not commend us to Elohim, for we are none the better if we eat, nor any worse for not eating. But look to it. Lest somehow this right of yours becomes a stumbling block to those who are weak. So if this is something that you grew up with, like, Yah gets it. Before you come to Yeshua, Yah gets it. Like, he, in your heart, he knows that this is a bad habit that you picked up before you found Yeshua. But look to it. Lest somehow this right of yours become a stumbling block to those who are weak. And so, if you're weakened and it becomes a stumbling block, then you're going to be held accountable. Because now you've got Yeshua. And so, his strength is far and above plenty to get you over whatever you want to get over. You just got to fucking do it. Consciously, unconsciously, unconsciously, consciously is how we formulated these habits, habits as kids. And so, again, going to the uh, small e Elohim, the only other context that we have for that. And the displeasure of Yahuwah, actually, let's start at 13, Exodus 4, 13. But he said, Moses, Moshe, but he said, O Yahuwah, please send by the hand of him whom you would send. 14, and the displeasure of Yahuwah burned against Moshe. And he said, is not Aaron the Levite your brother? I know that he speaks well. And see, he is also coming out to meet you. And when he sees you, he shall be glad in his heart. 15, and you shall speak to him and put the words in his mouth. And I am with your mouth and with his mouth. And I shall teach you what to do. Praise Yah. 16, and he shall speak for you to the people. And it shall be that he shall be a mouth for you, and you shall be an Elohim, a small e Elohim, for him. So this is the only really other place in the Bible that we get permission from Yahuwah to be gods, to be small e Elohim. But it's the leadership quality of us. We are perfected through Yeshua. So if we're out there doing dumb shit, if we're out there getting drunk, then that's not properly representing Yeshua. And so here's the deal for, you know, like, obviously, if you're a heroin addict and you're not functioning properly, or if, you know, like, man, these fentanyl blocks all over the world right now, I rebuke them in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Can I get another witness? All the witnesses down in the comments rebuke the fentanyl blocks in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Praise Yahuwah. So I'm doing this and I'm trying to quit smoking. Something that I've been doing since I started smoking weed at 14 years old. 
I started smoking cigarettes at 19 years old. And I am making this video, writing notes, had another video from when I was high as hell and like it was a nine minute video just falling asleep the whole time. And so I'm like, let me clean this up, make some notes and I will show you the notes. Here is one, here is the second copy. And here's the first copy that I ripped out of the book. And the difference, the problem with the copies, if you can see it, let's see if I can scale back here. If you can see it, they both end with one line extra there. And so I would rewrote this one because Yah had told me that keep your temple clean needed to be its own line. But because I'm a disobedient asshole, I decided that it could be on the same line as rebuking spirits in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Rebuking bad thoughts and bad spirits in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. So I redo it and I come out with the same thing because I moved a different line as I was writing it. And so basically the point is, 1 Corinthians 8, 7, is that you don't have any control over any of this. Is that even if you want to, only Yahuwah can. And so what you do, being ignorant to it, no matter how hard you try, you're going to get the same pieces of paper. All the same. It's all the same. Praise Yahuwah. This doesn't mean be hopeless about your addiction. This means have faith in Yahuwah. Because as you be perfected, and as you begin to know right from wrong better, see the truth. You further have tools in your toolkit to fight them, to fight these addictions, to fight whatever bad is on the battlefield before you. Slay it. Ah. And so, you just can't decide when you're going to do things and how you're going to do them. Because if it doesn't coincide with Yah's time and how Yah does it, it doesn't matter. We know it's right to love. And how many of us are sacrificing ourselves for the ability to love because we weren't taught it? He's bringing me everywhere tonight. Matthew twenty four twelve, And because of the increase in lawlessness, the love of many shall become cold. Cause, effect. The generation being taught lawlessness will make a generation without love, without respect. The point of this video was not to help addicts, but to create witnesses against addiction and against powerlessness. Love yourself. Appreciate yourself and how Yah made you. And the coping mechanisms that He's given you to navigate the world.
especially for those who are true believers. This world's fucked up. You and I are a part of it. You know what I mean? Crazy, yeah.